Hey there, it's Nick here, getting you educated about two exciting mirrorless cameras from Sony, the A7S Mark III and the A7 Mark IV. Both of these models are from Sony's hugely popular full-frame alpha mirrorless range, and they're aimed at professionals and serious enthusiasts. How are these cameras different and which one is the best fit for your camera bag? Well, let's take a closer look and find out. Whilst the Sony A7S Mark III features a full frame image sensor, it's designed more for video and so has less resolution than other models in the range, including the A7 Mark IV, with this lowered resolution having the benefit of greater sensitivity and a higher ISO range. Subsequently, this camera is ideal for low light photography and cinematography. The Sony a7 IV features a huge resolution, making it the perfect option for producing large and detailed prints, as well as heavily cropping your images. On the contrary, the high resolution sensor of this camera results in a slightly reduced ISO range. The Sony a7S Mark III is a favourite of video enthusiasts of all levels, from vloggers to those working in more professional environments. This camera can produce 4K 120p videos, compared to the 4K 30p of the a7 IV. For slow motion results, the a7S III is your best bet, with full HD 240 frames per second video, compared to the a7IV's full HD 120 FPS. While both cameras are viable options for both vlogs and more advanced video works, the a7S III gets the edge with a host of advanced features, including 16-bit raw external recording. Both of these fantastic cameras are home to the same speedy and accurate autofocus system. Both cameras include real-time tracking and eye autofocus, while the a7 IV adds eye autofocus for humans, animals and birds in both photo and video mode, the a7S III is more limited. Further highlighting itself as the better low-light camera, the a7S Mark III has a considerable advantage when focusing in dim conditions. Further similarities that the Sony a7S Mark III and a7 Mark IV share include a five-axis image stabilization system that reduces camera shake and leaves you free to enjoy great handheld shooting results and a speedy, continuous shooting rate. The speedy shooting rate, as well as premium video recording of the cameras, will produce plenty of large files, and thankfully, both cameras include dual memory card slots. A minor distinction, the a7S Mark III accepts UHS-2 SD and CF Express cards in each slot, while the a7 Mark IV accepts CF Express cards in just one of its slots. As is to be expected of the Sony a7 range of cameras, both the a7S Mark III and the a7 Mark IV are exceptionally portable when considering their powerful performance. The cameras are similar in weight and dimension and have a very similar button layout and design. Both of these multimedia friendly cameras include both an EVF and a multi-angle touch sensitive LCD screen to compose your work in a manner that's suitable for you. While it must be said that the a7S III's EVF and LCD are both of a higher resolution. With many people relying on streaming or remote video at some point in the modern world, the newer Sony a7 Mark IV makes this feat just that little bit simpler. The a7S III requires a computer with additional software installed to stream, while the a7IV transforms into a high quality, easy to use webcam as soon as it's connected via USB. Still wondering which of these two fantastic models is the best for you? Well, the a7S Mark III is the best choice for videographers as well as those whose main interest is low light photography, while the a7 Mark IV has the increased resolution that many photographers crave. If you want to know more, just head to teds.com.au forward slash blog or keep updated by subscribing to Teds on YouTube or following Teds on Instagram at Teds underscore cameras for all the latest Ted education. You can also join Club Ted to stay updated on the latest news and content as well as be eligible for all Club Ted only offers. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.